Okay, in this video, or the second video of the uh, keypad series, I'm going to uh, introduce the MM74C922 4x4 matrix decoder that we will be using to uh, take the inputs from the keypad and convert them into BCDs so that we can light up a few LEDs. Uh, this is your uh, pin or your pin assignment right here. As you can see, uh, pins one, two, three, and four are for the row pins. And uh, if we look at seven and eight, ten and eleven, that's for our columns. Now you see five and six here, which is the oscillator and the key bounce mask. Uh, we'll be installing a couple of uh, capacitors there, one microfarad capacitors, I believe. Of course, pin 9 is ground, pin 18 is VCC, and then our outputs uh, are pin 17, 14 through 17. And uh, then we have an output enable, we'll be tying that high. A data available, we're going to send that out to an uh, another LED, a red LED, so we know that when you touch the keypad, that will always light up for, you know, a quick second. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty uh, simple and straight through, so let's get to wiring this thing up. I've added the resistors up here at the top and my columns are all here in yellow and my rows are all here in blue and I've added the power rail here. So let's start wiring this thing up. I'm going to start with row 1 which goes straight to pin 1. Row 1, pin 1, row 2 goes to N2, row 3 goes to pin 3, and row 4 goes to pin 4. That's the easy ones. Then, let's see if I can find my capacitors. We'll go ahead and do uh, pin 5, which is the oscillator, and pin 6, which is the keyboard mask. Always got to make sure you put the short end into ground. So I'm going to put short end to ground here. And go into pin 4 there. And then the same for pin 5. Pin 5 there. There we go. Okay, now we're ready for... Let's go ahead and put our uh, power and ground on pin 9 here for ground. And pin 18 here goes to the positive rail. Oops, those out of the way a little bit. Now we're ready to do, uh, let's say, the columns. So let's start with column number four goes into pin seven. That will be right here. Column three goes into pin eight. Come on, get in there. Here we go. And column two goes into pin ten, which is all the way down here. Yeah. And column one goes into pin eleven. Hopefully you can see this. I'm not moving it around too bad, but you get the idea if I don't go into that dang hole. Come on, yo. 
Stop being stubborn. What is your issue? Well, this is not rocket science. There you go. That work. Okay, so now we have our columns and our rows all hooked up. And now we're ready just for our, pretty much our outputs. So we're going to start with, let's see. See the data out on pin 12. Okay, where's the wire for that one? Pin 12. That's uh, 10, 11, and right here's 12. We'll get that right in line with the last resistor here, and I'll go ahead and put the uh, LED, the red LED in there for the data out. Again, paying attention to the short leg, which points negative, and the positive toward our wire here. There we go. Hopefully that's in there good. Hard to tell. Ah, getting bent up a little bit. Try it again. There we go. And we'll wire up the rest of the uh, data outputs, A, B, C, and D. Now, let's see, which order did I do this? So, the ones place, it's kind of reversed. So, the ones place is like way up here at pin 17. But it goes over across here to the ones place. Because that's your A. And if you want to read it, you know, kind of real, so you'd want to do it that way. And then, uh, what was that, 17, 16, goes to your twos position, right next to it. And then 15, goes to your fours position. goes to the eighth position. Now, yeah, the wires get a little cross up here, but that's, if you want to read the LEDs the best way, this is the best way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and put those LEDs in there real quick, hopefully. Of course, paying attention to the short side. The one's position. In the two's position, short leg. Can't get in there. And in the fourth position. Uh oh, I'm not doing this wrong. I didn't have it. And that one went in right. Short leg toward the resistors. And then the resistors here are connected to the board and going into ground themselves. Okay, we only got one pin left, which is pin 13 which is the output enable. Now it says it's an output enable with a knot on it, but I've already found out that you got to plug that one into the positive rail to get things to work. Let me go ahead and plug that into the positive rail here. And uh, I think we're pretty much ready to apply power. Let me get my over there, and negative there, and see if we did this right. And when I press the one, the red light should light up, but none of the uh, LEDs because it's basically a logic zero, so don't pay attention to the numbers here. 
This 2 should give us a 1, binary 1, but it's not, so things are not working. Let's see. Okay, now I got it in a negative. 3, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and back to 0. So there you go. Actually, I had to put that back in the negative rail. Don't ask me why. One time it works positive, one time it works negative, so you might want to switch that up if you have any problems. So let's go back to 1, which is actually 0, and 2 is a 1, 3 is a 2, A is a 3, and we get on the right track, 4 is a 4, 5 is a 5, 6 is a 6, B is a 7, 7 is an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There you go. Well, as you can t see, you know, because this is not in, you know, the perfect order that we would like it to be in, uh, we're going to have problems, you know, when we try to start moving on to uh, seven segment displays uh, or anything like that. We're going to ha either have to do some programming or come up with uh, another method of doing this. Uh, I've already ordered another uh, keypad that actually is a little bit better because it starts zero here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, A, B, C, D, E, F, which is nice, but it also has a second row of four that I can use for other methods, you know, uh, viewing the next memory address or setting the memory address or doing something like that. So I'm looking forward to that. that uh, new keypad to come in but for now we got a uh, 4x4 matrix keypad with the MM74C922 decoder BCD decoder and now we can actually send this decoded information to a seven segment display with of course the help of a 7474 BCD to seven segment display chip so that'll probably be the next video. Uh, hope you were able to learn something from this and hope I can remember what I did the next time by watching this video. <laughs> Anyhow, have a great day. Thank you.